Hey y'all, Mandy from My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today I wanted to introduce you to all my pets. So first off, let me introduce you to Buster. Buster is my Rhodesian Ridgeback Boxer Mix. I actually found him living in a forklift yard when he was about a five month old puppy. And I wasn't really looking for a dog at the time, but I could not leave him behind. He ended up being quite a bit of a challenge and I had to put him through a lot of training. He had zero bite inhibition when I found him and so his play biting was really painful. <laughs> but we worked through it, um, three hours training a day for a couple of years and he's probably the best dog that I've ever had now. And so this is Tyrion. He is a big boy. He is 15 pounds and he is at his ideal weight according to the vet. I found Tyrion, I adopted him from the shelter. He had been returned a few times and he was only seven months old. He weighed 12 pounds already and I can't imagine why anybody would bring this guy back because he is the most easygoing, chill cat I have ever had. And he loves my daughter. My daughter, he was supposed to be my cat, but um, he ended up being my daughter's cat. They are like two peas in a pod. And this is Kaya. Kaya is my little baby. She is now almost eight years old. She is the only cat that I know exactly how old she is and when her birthday is, December 9th. I actually got to pick Kaya pretty much right after she was born. Um, she was actually supposed to be my cat's cat. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, one of my older cats was going downhill and my other cat was 13 and I could not leave him alone. He was still really playful and I needed to get him a playmate, so it was perfect timing. My friend and I found a kitten wandering around our apartment complex at the time and brought her into his apartment and she ended up being pregnant. So I picked out one of the kittens when they were born and one of my best friends has her brother. And then there is Penny. Penny does not really care to be picked up. She's been having some back problems off and on that I've been working with the vet on. We're not really sure what's going on with her, but she does not like being picked up. My husband and I actually found Penny out in our neighbor's bushes. It was late at night. We went outside and heard a high-pitched little kitten meow. We ended up proceeding to spend two hours with a flashlight trying to figure out where this little kitten meow was coming from in the rain, in the dark, <laughs> only to find a two-week-old kitten who is now a giant behemoth. Penny is probably my most little spoiled thing because I had to bottle feed her and she's really lucky that I have the job that I do because I was able to take her to work with me because she had to be fed every two hours like an infant. The poor thing, when we found her, she was covered in fleas and just a total mess and just a floppy little tiny thing that barely had just opened her eyes. So then of course we have my frogs. My Pac-Man frog, Moltar, is the first Pac-Man frog that I got and I love her. She is really cool and I liked her so much that I went out and decided to get a special order strawberry albino Pac-Man frog. My frog, Zorak. So then I have my tree frogs, Koto and Poto, named after the ferrets from Beastmaster. And of course, my crested gecko, Brack. I have my killifish killer, my gardenary killifish, my first killifish. And oh my gosh, I 
went through a lot with him, but I love this fish and he made me fall in love with the killifish. So I'm actually really glad that my friend needed to rehome him because I've learned a lot about them and I've learned a lot about the killifish and now they're probably my favorite fish. So then we have my beta fish Kai. He's a marble beta. He started out koi colors and now he's actually starting to kind of turn blue. Oh, the marble beta. What color will I wake up to find you next? So then I have my killifish pair, Bonnie and Clyde. They are my newest killifish. I don't know where Clyde is hiding. Oh, there he is. They are my Gardenary killifish pair, and hopefully they will be giving me lots of babies. I was going to make this a platy and tetra tank, but I actually changed my mind and I'm going to be getting a couple of very special fish to put in this tank that I'm actually really excited about. And I can't wait to show y'all who is going to be joining this tank. I got to put a lot more plants in here though first and I'm debating on some driftwood. But yeah, I got some really cool fish that are going to be going in here. So unfortunately, Stinky didn't make it. So I wound up getting a couple bumblebee gobies. And then I decided to get some guppies. So their fry could feed the gobies. If you look around, there's a bunch of little guppy fry already. Probably going to have to get a bigger tank to upgrade them into. Surprised they're leaving. They're not going after the fry as much as I thought they would. I might end up with a million guppies. That's okay. I can always get more tanks. And here I have my tetras and my white cloud minnows. I also have a uh, albino quarry. Oh, there he is. Hanging out at the bottom. It's early in the morning. Surprise, these guys are this active. So that is all the pets that I have currently. I love each and every one of them and they can be a lot of work at times, but it is all worth it because I really enjoy working with them and working on my tanks and trying to make a really cool environment for all of them to live in. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! And always hesitating, kryptonite desire.